Hello, my friends. My name is Claire, and you've stumbled upon porch coffee, so please stick around. Hi, friends. My name is Claire, and this is my channel, Woodshed Theory. Here, I make content about what it is like to live as an adult on the autism spectrum and whatever else feels good to me. So, if that sounds good to you, or if you're feeling particularly gracious today, and I hope that you are, please go ahead and click the subscribe button, ring the bell. I almost forgot to mention that I put out videos a few times a week, so click the like and the share. Yeah, seriously, if you have a second, just click all the buttons around the video and do a comment and interact with it, it really helps me helps more people see my videos. Thank you. If you're new here, I'm a late diagnosed autistic lady who has coffee with you on Monday mornings. Why? Why, 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 why? Well, sometimes when you have autism, it can be difficult for you to have friends, maintain friends. Not for everyone, but for me, yes. And for a lot of you, yes. So I come on here on Monday mornings and I tell you about my week. And uh, you listen to that and tell me about your week in the comments. And there you have it. Internet friends. Mug club update. <laughs> okay, so I just want everyone to know that I did not shirk on my responsibilities. I did get a marker to put the new number up and it just, it's not working. So one person i'm just gonna have to add a, a three there one person joined the mug club this week welcome 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 we're at 183 items out there in the universe and you know what else if you or anyone you know would like to join the mug club they can go to woodshedtheory.com and buy a porch coffee mug and have coffee with us on monday mornings no pressure only get one if you want one and uh if you still want to be in Mug Club and you don't want to get a mug, you can. Because Mug Club is in our hearts. We've got porcelain mugs and metal mugs and travel mugs and stickers to make your own mug. And imposter mugs. We got them all. Can't get them at the mall. Oh no. Just at woodsharedtheory.com. It helps support me in the channel. So thank you. <laughs> How was your week? Um, mine was okay. Mine was fine. I'm afraid that, like, nothing happened that was, like, big enough to talk about. So I guess we'll just end it here. Have a great week. You know how it is in the summer, I suppose. Things slow down a bit. But I didn't feel like things slowed down. I I don't know. I'm just trying to navigate the new um, element of heat in my life. Um, and I've been focusing more on my health this week trying to eat healthier uh, got some like healthier groceries and I've started eating salad again it's so interesting to me that um, I go through these periods of life where um, when I'm really focused on my health um, I'm gonna try and say um less you guys don't know how much I say um because I edit it out a lot and I say it a lot in the mornings during my first cup of coffee. Which, you know, I don't know, maybe I shouldn't film before coffee. And I just spilt it all over myself, so that's great. Spilled, not spilt, right? Are they both words? Language nerds, tell me in the comment. S below. Anyway, there are periods in my life where I'm, I'm able to really focus on my health and eating right and getting exercise. Uh, but it's like an on off switch to me. Uh, I, I know that we've talked about balance before a hundred thousand times on this channel. That's something I struggle with when it comes to balance. I'm either really focused on being healthier, um, treating my body better, or I don't care at all. It's not that I don't care. I just, that part of my brain shuts off and I'm done. 
it's like I can only really focus on a few things at once. And sometimes health is in there and sometimes it's not. Do you guys go through this too? I could really use some support. So anyway, I hesitate to say I feel like I'm doing well with like focusing on my health journey uh, again. But why not? It'll either work or it won't. And I'll be back to it in a few weeks or months. So hopefully it sticks. I'm really trying my best. I know I'm not the only person in the world that struggles, right? So salads for everyone if you like them. Sometimes I feel hesitant to talk about topics like focusing on one's health because people can take it in the wrong way. Or they can take it like you're being judgmental or that you want other people to do what you're doing. Please do not feel that way at all. It's my own personal thing and I'm not suggesting that you do anything. My body is not as young as it used to be and I'm trying to treat it better. The older I get, the more I can tell when I'm not treating my body very well. I guess is a great way to put it. So I'm really gonna try and focus on treating my body better because it has to carry around my soul for like, I hope, several more decades. So. I'd like for it to like be happy for several more decades and not feeling how I feel sometimes when I wake up and everything hurts. So yeah, that's how, that's, that's how it's going there. I just get into these periods also where I only buy the same groceries. And I know many of you are gonna relate to this, right? Because we have things that if you're on the spectrum, you have the things that you eat and you like to taste the same things over and over again, at least for periods of time. And if you're ADHD, um, I'm not diagnosed, but if you are, then you absolutely know what I mean because I know that ADHD people also go through a through periods where you like eating like only one thing and then one day you're like, nope, no more. Uh, yeah, I, I definitely relate to that. So I just have to switch my mind over and my heart and my soul to getting back into that healthy mindset. What else happened this week? Okay, well, not a lot, guys. Uh, finally got the podcast out with Yosemite Sam. How exciting is that? I was so pumped about it. I'm, you know, very happy. Uh, I was hoping that I was gonna have it out on Tuesday. It was out on Thursday. What can you do? I'm not gonna beat myself up about it. I am finding that with the podcasts, all of them, you know, it is a lot of editing. So maybe trying to get one out per week isn't the best idea because I struggle to get other content out. And from what I'm seeing, people like watching uh, different videos for me, not just the podcast. Uh, obviously, people watch Porch Coffee with me. Thanks for coming and hanging out with me. Uh, they also like to watch videos of me talking about autism and doing crafts and things like that. So, well, I say they like watching videos of me doing crafts. Maybe the shorts, but not the long format videos. But I, I make what I want to make, so hopefully... I make what I want to make, and if you want to watch it, that's cool. Uh, but I do want to just put out more than porch coffees and podcast episodes. So I don't want to slow down on the podcast, though, because I'm really having a good time. And as I, as I mentioned, I put out the, the podcast with Yosemite Sam this week, and I hope that you check it out. I felt so encouraged by our conversation. It made me feel really good inside, and... I'm just so happy that we made the podcast work. It's so neat to get to talk to somebody that I watched even before my autism diagnosis when I was kind of trying to figure things out. And I know that it's so neat because so many people in the comments told me the same thing, that you also uh, had Sam be a big part of your autism diagnosis and I don't doubt that so definitely check that out and I'm so proud that I got to talk to her 
Also, some of you asked where you can buy her book. Uh, you can buy her book on Amazon. So check that out. Go for it. Looks beautiful. It's it's a workbook for people exploring if they might be on the autism spectrum. Something you could fill out and take to the doctors with you maybe when you're trying to get diagnosed to help you kind of uh, unscatter your thoughts. Write down how you're feeling before you get there. What a great idea. So if you're interested in supporting Sam in that way, I would definitely check that book out. I will put the Amazon link down below. I, I guess I can do that. I'll put it in the comment. No, not the comments. In the description. I don't, it, it won't be an affiliate link. Just if you want to check it out and help support a fellow creator. Somebody we all look up to. Check it out. I was worried I wasn't going to have anything to talk about today. And look, here we are several minutes in and I've got plenty to talk about. That feels good. Nice. I love hanging out with you guys. You know, porch coffee is actually one of my favorite parts of the week. It's a secret. It's maybe it's not a secret, but I don't know. Is it silly that one of my favorite parts of the week is sitting, having coffee and talking to myself on my porch? I don't know. I just love reading all of your comments. Speaking of, how good am I doing not answering all of the comments? I'm not even hearting everything every, anymore. And you know what? I'm really proud of myself. I am trying to do a few comments a day. Whatever feels comfortable. But I'm not putting pressure on myself to answer them all. Uh, like I was in the past. Because as we've talked about before, it got to be too much. And I set some boundaries uh, a while ago to not answer all the comments, but I was still doing it and struggling with letting go. But it's finally happening, guys. It does make me a little anxious because I want you guys to know that I'm interacting. I do see all the comments for sure. I'm sure one day I won't even be able to see all the comments. That would be, uh, well, it would be interesting. I still want to be able to see them, but it'll be interesting if that ever happens. But yeah, that's a big deal. I've talked a lot in the past about how everything that I thought I needed to do for YouTube wasn't necessarily what needed to happen, wasn't necessarily healthy. So here we are. I would like to start putting out more autism videos again though, because it's been a while. So hopefully send good energy that I can make that happen. What else has been going on this week? Well, well let me tell you. If you made it this far in the video and you're not ready to hear about yarn. Yes, I said yarn. If you're not ready to hear about yarn, you may want to skip to the end. But, you know, just hang out. You're just having coffee anyway. Many of you know I have an affinity for yarn. Special interest. I love it. Sometimes I feel like I'm not like crocheting as much or using the yarn as much. Sometimes I'm not as excited about the yarn that's out there. That doesn't mean I've lost my love, right? I love yarn. I collect yarn. I've turned it into a business. I make things and sell them on Etsy so that I, one, can make income for myself, but also surround myself with yarn. Do what you love, right? So I show yarn on videos because of that. Yarn. Love it. So... What have I been doing this week? Well, if you're in the yarn community, you may know that Habu Labu, Hobby Lobby craft store every year has a yarn clearance event. They clearance out any yarn that's not going to be in their stores anymore. And they put it on a 75% discount. 75%. That's banana. Usually the best sale they have is 30%. They do that every other week. So if you're going to buy yarn during the year, wait for the week that it's 30% off. They switch between 40% off fabric one week, 30% off yarn the next week, and they switch. So the sale has started in many parts of the country. I've been watching people take advantage of the sale. I've been checking every two or three days at the store. I've been calling around. I've been visiting 
local stores. It has not reached my district yet. I did find a post I made from like two years ago where I said that the sale was going to be the week of the 10th, which is this week coming up. So what I'm assuming is it'll roll out in my area this week. But I've still been checking all week just in case because every store marks down things at different times. Maybe they had gotten the sheet of what to mark down and they hadn't gotten to it yet. That doesn't seem to be the case. So I'm pretty sure it's gonna be next week in my area. This might be boring to you. And I don't love having to drive around to all these stores, but I also don't love necessarily shopping at Hobby Lobby. I do think that they're morally not on the same page as me. However, I do love their yarn and buying their yarn at 75% off is pretty much the best price you can get on new yarn in America all year. If you can come up with a different answer for me there, I'd love to know. I know you might say, Claire, you can go to the dollar store. Uh, yes, the dollar store yarn is $1.25. It is premier yarn, uh, but you're not getting the same yardage. This is higher yardage, normal yardage, and it's the same. A lot of the yarn is the same price as the dollar store when it's on clearance. It's $1.25, it's $1.12, etc. So to me, especially with business and everything, this is a great time to stock up. Also, it gives me more serotonin to shop this sale than many, many, many other things. I just love it. So yeah, we wait all year. Many people wait all year. Now, the sale is not as big as it has been. Thank you for listening to me talk about yarn, by the way. The sale is not going to be as big as it has been. I've seen what's going to be on sale. As I mentioned, lots of people already started their sale. I've seen what's going to be on sale. Last year they cut the yarn aisles down from four sides of like two full aisles they cut out one side of an aisle so now it's a full aisle and a half of an aisle is that what i want to say am i representing it correctly when i say half an aisle when you walk down an aisle it's got two sides now one of them only has one side which is a pity so when they did that last year Obviously, they had to mark down an entire side aisle worth of yarn. So it was like yarn bonanza. I think if you go back and watch my videos, I did three separate videos. And then halfway through the year, they also have dye lot clearance, which is a whole different thing. But I, I buy a lot of yarn during this time. I do appreciate that it's not going to be as big this year because... Oh, I also wanted to mention that I heard that some stores have cut their yarn even further. I did read somewhere a lady said that they only have half of an aisle now. I have not seen that anywhere. It's not at my Hobby Lobby in the area. Anyway, I'm glad they cut down the yard sale because I won't need to buy as many things. However, there are several yarns that I do use all the time. One in particular, a yarn that I use a lot. And I'm going to go snatch that yarn up, fingers crossed, <laughs> uh, especially if they're going to be discontinuing it because it's a yarn that I use all the time. I use it to make hats and I will miss it when it's gone. So I'm going to go get what I can and we'll save it for the winter when it's time to make winter hats again. Well, time flies when you're having fun because I definitely spent a bunch of time just talking about buying yarn. So hopefully this week I'll be able to get the yarn. I hope so because I mentioned I hadn't done much this week or I felt like much hadn't happened. I did spend a lot of time trying to find some sale yarn even though it wasn't done yet in my area. <laughs> and as soon as I hear that the sale has started, I am like unable to focus, guys. I really, as I mentioned, don't get much serotonin usually, but shopping that sale and knowing how good the deal is, I, how often can you fill a whole cart of yarn and take it home? 
I don't get to do that ever, except for this sale. So that's what makes me happy, and I'm not going to apologize for it. <laughs> I can't focus on anything else uh, until it happens. Looking for it, looking online, seeing what other people have gotten, picking out what I'm going to get, calling the store, visiting the store. I don't bug them or anything. I don't think so. I'm not like that, but personally inside, yeah, it's like a, it's like a shark with blood in the water. I just, I, I don't want to miss out on it, especially because our sale here starts later than most of the country. And all of the people in my area are all like ready to pounce and I want to get the stuff that I want. So if it's gone, it's gone. All right, I'll stop talking about this now, but thank you for listening to me about this. I don't have a ton of friends to talk yarn about and to talk about this sale and how excited I am. So probably in the next week or so, you'll see a video of me showing you what I got, talking about how much I love it. If you could watch that, even if you hate yarn, uh, I really appreciate it because I love it. Special interests, man. I just want to be surrounded by yarn. At this point, if I pass away, if and when, they won't have to like put any sort of padding or anything in the casket. You could just cover the walls in the yarn and bury me with it. That's cool too. It's like, oh, you can't take it with you. I beg to differ. <laughs> so that's, that's what happened with my week and that's what I'll be doing this next coming week. I will be getting some new inventory snagging some new yarn the thing that i love that's that's what i'm up to i would love for you to tell me about your week in the comments now that we've had this long conversation and now that i've talked for so long even though i thought i'd have nothing to say uh yeah tell me about your week in the comments i hope that you have a good one i'm ho i hope you're enjoying your summer always check back there's always more content coming out here on witchhead theory you are what helps make my channel a success, so I thank you for that. Uh, yeah, have a good one, and I will talk to you later. Bye! Bye, guys!